Last weekend, we tried out Haven. We've gotten tons of requests to play it, and now I totally see why. This is the game that gets played when the girlfriend gets to pick the game for date night. This is such a tiny game. <laughs> you know that from just the intro? Yep, it's basically like going to see a rom-com, and I'm all about it. Once I realized what it was all about, I pretty much demanded we play it together the next couple nights. Exploring an uninhabited planet, cooking and camping under the stars, and also petting aliens? All while with your significant other? Say no more. I found the two of us a haven for date night. This is not a game I would recommend playing by yourself unless you want to feel like a major third wheel. It follows a Romeo and Juliet style couple of literal star-crossed lovers on the run from the space police. They've essentially eloped and in the process really upset their arranged marriage partners. So as you can imagine, this game plays right into my imagination. They're pretty into each other, so just keep in mind their back and forth might get a little old if you're on your own. Oh! Oh, they weren't kidding. If you're playing with a significant other though, then you're in for a treat. When you get down to it, you're pretty much just hanging out with another fun couple. It's practically like a quasi double date without the usual headaches that come along with planning one. You don't have to plan around K and U schedule because they're space fugitives. They've got nothing better to do anyways. Default reduced. Oh yeah, we'll just do default. That's fine. <laughs> no, he's What's like reduced. <laughs> there's no hard. <laughs> yeah, you're like, there's not an advanced version. <laughs> there's no like extreme mode with one HP. <laughs> The game plays out like a visual novel, which means it's pretty story heavy and gameplay is pretty simple. I think we have to like vote. Oh, it's a voting game. I don't know. So let's go with, hey, I wasn't complaining. Okay, one, two, three. Hey. I wasn't complaining. A lot hinges on the relationship between the two main characters, and boy do they like to talk. The gameplay can actually get pretty repetitive if you're not invested in their conversations, so don't go skipping dialogue boxes like he likes to try and do. <laughs> I'm serious when I say this is the video game equivalent of watching Too Hot to Handle with him. Here we go again. The couple banner was cute and made it feel like these two had a genuine connection. They put the two of us on the spot more than a couple times. You don't realize how much you bicker as a couple until you're sitting together watching another one do it over the same stuff. It's got a chill flow to it and the vibe really has you lowering your guard. The last thing either of us were expecting was our bad habits as partners to get called out and put on yeah. full display. I see you brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. That sounds Sorry. about right. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I feel so put on blast. Yeah. Well, at least we're not the only ones that deal with that. The dialogue runs on its own, and there's quite a bit of it, so the two of us got pretty comfortable kicking back whenever we saw talking heads. They've got good back and forth, so it's fun listening to them bicker and comparing them to ourselves. When it comes to picking dialogue choices, we both have to agree on what the person will say, and admittedly, we'll sometimes say something we shouldn't just to get a reaction. But that's part of any relationship. She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? Oh my god! <laughs> so what... What, you, what do we want to go with? What did you think? I will say, it's a little weird that the person playing as the character doesn't pick the dialogue option, but the game is supposed to be about working together. Probably the most hilarious thing we ran into was sometimes we'd have to push a button to initiate the next string of dialogue, which led to some extremely pregnant pauses. You'll see. <laughs> Are we supposed to click something? Why isn't she moving? The game was clearly made for couples because they even factored in all the girlfriend required bathroom breaks. It's not gonna make or break anything if I get up to grab a glass of water while he's zooming around cleaning dust. But if he starts any type of dialogue, then all hell breaks loose because I don't wanna miss anything. In fact, he can't even stop moving either because the two have a ton of fun and cute idol animations when you hold still. The first time I missed the one where they kissed, I made him wait with me until they did it again. He can't even complain about it because we were low on health anyways. They just started making out. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it! I think instead of calling it two player, it would be better to call it one and a half player. It's like co-op but with extra steps. For instance, it's up to whoever presses the trigger first to take control of the game. The other one is kind of just along for the ride. You can still kind of control your character while you trail behind, but if you're a sucker for lovey-dovey stuff like me, you'll end up just making them hold hands and then sit back and watch. You still have full control over the camera, which is a bit of a questionable decision. Are they trying to build relationships or ruin them with this game? Wait, are you moving the camera? <laughs> You're moving the camera. Yeah. 
Are you able to move the camera? Yeah. We are going to need to learn to cooperate. <laughs> like, this is going to take some <laughs> extreme cooperation. Okay, stop moving the camera for a second. <laughs> for the most part, I follow real life and usually let him drive. But it makes me crazy when he's got control and keeps chasing sparkles instead of progressing the plot. It's pretty clear he enjoys the more gamey aspects and I'm into the story. So when he's chasing the same flow thread for five minutes instead of advancing to the next area, then I start nudging him to get on with it. So we're chasing the jellyfish and then the cougar thing is chasing us. Why? Sometimes something will catch my eye and I'll want him to turn around and go check. Of course, trying to give directions when we've already passed it is about as effective as it is in real life. The simple solution is to just flip a Yui, but if I watch him do too many U-turns in a row in this game, I start getting nauseous. The much simpler solution is to have him let go of the trigger and hand me the wheel. That's when it's my turn to drive and he gets to sit and watch. Good luck getting me to hand back control afterwards though. I get it. Hell yeah. Look at this. Whee! How many more do you think we need? This is a game about know. tracing. <laughs> and you're helping. Combat encounters are interesting. Fighting requires timing and being in sync with each other. And, and go. No, no, you got. Should. Do you see the thing? Hold on. I got you. Okay. Impact. And wait. See the thing? Now. Do you see you have oh. to, like, let go? Uh, yeah. Try again. Now. There we, there we go. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. We took a lot of damage trying to learn how to work together, but like in any relationship, no one starts perfect. Speaking of relationships, one of my favorite things about the combat is how the two of them cheer each other on and are so supportive. It's cute listening to them hype each other up and celebrate when they're victorious. Good teamwork. As usual. Who's next? We did it. There's no killing the aliens, but rather we're just fighting to cure and pacify them. It's a good thing too, because they're pretty cute. And we also get to pet them afterwards. We have a pet now! Even when we're limping around with next to no health, he likes to go after the aggressive creatures because he's just so thirsty for gameplay. I'd probably shy away from every single non-required fight if not for the goal of befriending every living thing on this planet. Whoa. Oh, yep, yep. The web of interconnected islands was a mess to navigate before finding the map. I leave it in his hands to keep track of where we've been and where we're going. If they hadn't given us the radar, I'm confident we would have run around in a circle petting the same three lizards for an hour and a half. Even after getting the radar, it's easy to get distracted by new flora and fauna and go off the path of our main objective. Are you done petting that thing? Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> The answer is never. more animals that need saving tanks. We have to save all the animals. A big part of the gameplay loop is cleaning up rust off the islands. It's kind of like mowing the lawn and can get a little repetitive after a while, but I'd be lying if I said there wasn't some satisfaction in getting a full clear in an area. You get a lot of materials for cleaning it all up, so we've collected a ton of rust, but still aren't exactly sure what for. We know we're trying to repair our ship, but it seems like we have way more than we could ever need. How much rust do you need to pull the panties down exactly? How much rust do you need in order to <laughs> pull the panties down. <laughs> you can cook all kinds of things with the ingredients you scavenge around for the planet. Just like in real life, the girlfriend is hungry all the time. I kept telling him I was hungry, and we played for like three hours before he realized I was talking about in real life. I guess he was having more fun than he lets on. So I will shield. I wasn't there in time. <laughs> I was in there, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Between the aesthetic, the music, and the colors, Haven makes for a fun and relaxing evening staying in together. Coming together as a couple to help another couple overcome the obstacles that come between them will make you appreciate your loved one even more. And if you feel a little lonely because you decided to play through it by yourself, don't say I didn't want you.